Thank you. <clears throat> you know, everyone understands the real frustration families are feeling right now and knows we've got to keep our foot on the gas. We have a lot of work ahead, and but the progress we have made so far over the past year really offers us a clear path forward. Democrats took action on the American Rescue Plan to fight this pandemic, and today, thanks to President Biden's leadership and our work, over 200 million people are now fully vaccinated. Free tests are available at covidtest.gov, and free masks are now available at pharmacies and grocery stores across the country. Last year, following historic investments in our nation's infrastructure and in our families and communities, our economy grew faster than it has in nearly four decades, and unemployment dropped back below 4%. Thanks to support for schools to get tests and masks and improve ventilation and meet our students' needs, schools are now in a much stronger position today to safely stay open for in-person learning. And following the efforts we took to lower costs, a record 14.5 million people got health care through the federal exchange last year, and they saved on average over $2,000 a year. We've also saved pensions that workers and retirees rely on from devastating cuts. Now, none of this was a given. It's not the result of chance. It was the result of action and leadership. That is important to remember because what happens next is not a given either. Whether we build on the progress for families or lose it, it's a question of will. Democrats want to press forward with additional action in Build Back Better to bring down our health care costs, especially drug costs, bring down child care costs, and address the climate crisis and more. We also want to make our nation competitive and make prices less reliant on foreign manufacturing, which is why we are working to pass legislation to strengthen our supply chains, ensure the technologies of the present and the future are made and developed right here in the U.S., and create more good-paying jobs, more investment, and greater economic prosperity for our families. This is especially important in my home state of Washington, which is already the home of premier research institutions, technology and aerospace leaders, and growers and producers that are constantly competing on the world stage. Democrats also want to improve our response to this pandemic and future health crises, to protect the right to vote, the cornerstone of our democracy. And, of course, we are all excited to work with President Biden and take an historic step in ensuring that our nation's highest court truly <clears throat> reflects the diversity of its people by confirming the first black woman to the Supreme Court. The past year has shown <clears throat> what a difference the choices we can make have for our nation. I know this has been a really impossible time for so many Americans, and we have a lot more work to do to build on the steps we've taken so far so we can end this pandemic, rebuild stronger and fairer, and give people back the certainty and stability in their lives they want. In the year ahead, Democrats are going to continue to focus on solutions, and we will work around the clock to deliver. Senator Stabenow. 